basic principles of aseptic technique, bacterial transferring, and inoculating. Aseptic technique will allow you to transfer a bacterial culture into a fresh medium without introducing any contaminating microorganisms. All fresh media should be labeled with the corresponding names of the bacterial culture. The two most commonly used tools for transferring bacteria are the inoculating loop and the inoculating needle. Sterilizing an inoculating loop via flame. Pass your inoculating tools through the hottest part of the flame, which looks like a blue cone from a Bunsen burner, to sterilize them. Once sterilized, the inoculating tool should not be touched or set down on any surface. Always work close to the flame. The flame generates hot air that reduces airborne contaminants. Transfer bacteria from a liquid culture, a flask, to an agar plate. Your dominant hand should hold the sterilized inoculating tool. Your other hand should hold the bacterial culture. Use your dominant hand, without interfering with your inoculating tool, to remove the cap of the test tube of the liquid culture, and pass its mouth through the flame several times. The inoculating tool is then dipped into the liquid culture and removed. Sterilize the mouth before replacing the cap. Use your free hand to lift the lid of an agar plate at a 45 degree angle. Hold it over the base as a shield to prevent airborne contaminants. The bacteria from the inoculating tool is then streaked over the entire surface of the plate in all directions. Be sure to rotate the plate a quarter turn between streaks to ensure the bacteria is evenly placed across the plate. Transfer bacteria from a liquid culture to a liquid or broth test tube. Sterilize the inoculating tool by taking the cap off the test tube of liquid culture and passing its mouth through the flame several times. The inoculating tool is then dipped into the liquid culture and removed. Sterilize the mouth before replacing the cap. Pick up a test tube with liquid medium with your free hand and remove the lid with your dominant hand. Pass the mouth of the test tube through the flame several times to sterilize. The inoculating tool with bacteria is then dipped into the liquid. Sterilize the mouth of the test tube again before replacing the cap. Transfer bacteria from an agar plate to a stab culture or agar deep test tube. Sterilize the inoculating needle and allow it to cool for 10 seconds. Lift the lid of the agar plate at a 45 degree angle with your free hand and hold it over the base as a shield to prevent airborne contaminants. Gently rub the needle over a single colony. Stab two thirds of the agar with the needle two to three times in the center to transfer the bacteria to the agar deep. Use the aseptic technique to remove and replace the lid of the agar deep test tube. Transfer bacteria from an agar plate to a liquid or broth test tube. Repeat the first few steps from the previous lesson to sterilize the inoculating needle and prevent airborne contaminants with the agar plate. Gently rub the needle over a single colony. Insert the needle into the broth test tube to transfer the bacteria into the liquid. Use the aseptic technique to remove and replace the lid of the broth test tube. Sterilizing an inoculating loop via a flame. Sterilize the inoculating tool to complete the process. Discard all contaminated tools and waste into a biohazardous container and disinfect the bench.